His family says he lost his life over a pair of shoes. Now safety concerns are growing after a teenager was shot and killed walking home from school. You should be allowed to wear what you want to wear to school and you should be able to walk home safely from school. But this was not the case. I mean, you talk random target may have been for the young man's shoes. He tried to rob my son and my son smacked his hand. So my son wouldn't let him go in his pockets and he shot my baby three times. Or did y'all want his $1,200 shoes he had on his feet? Senseless. Y'all killed my baby for nothing. Today is a hard day for everybody. I mean, our family is trying to stick together. We're trying to stay strong for one another. The no family stick ever together. they're going to have service. Well, nobody, nobody wants to go through what we're going through right now. I mean, the teenagers, is, they're killing kids, and they don't even know why they're killing. If you out there and you know you did it, man, turn yourself in, because you can't run. City too small, and everybody talks. Welcome to Explore Crimes. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon for more stories. Elijah Reese was a 16-year-old with a bright smile and an even brighter future. Known for his kindness, his sense of style, and his knack for making friends, Elijah was a beloved student at East English Village Preparatory Academy, where he was well-liked by his classmates and teachers. Elijah had a part-time job. And with the money he earned, he bought himself a pair of $1,200 Alexander McQueen shoes, a symbol of his hard work and budding independence. On a sunny afternoon in late May 2024, Elijah Reese finished his classes at East English Village Preparatory Academy and met up with his friends for their usual walk home. The mood among the friends was lighthearted and friendly as they chatted and laughed. Elijah, wearing his prized pair of Alexander McQueen shoes, felt confident and happy. However, as they neared a vacant lot, the atmosphere suddenly shifted when three men approached the group. Residents recounted hearing loud voices, followed by gunshots, and then seeing the teenagers scatter in all directions, desperately trying to escape the violence. Elijah was left lying on the ground, shot three times. The group of teenagers didn't usually hang out in that area, making the incident even more perplexing and tragic. As the sound of gunfire echoed through the quiet neighborhood, panic spread among the residents. Calls to 911 flooded in, reporting shots fired and a young boy down. Within minutes, the wail of sirens filled the air as police and emergency personnel rushed to the scene, hoping to save a life. When the first responders arrived at the scene, they found Elijah Reese lying on the ground, unresponsive and bleeding from multiple gunshot wounds. Paramedics quickly assessed his condition and began administering emergency medical care, trying to stabilize him. The sight of the young teenager fighting for his life was a harrowing image, one that would stay with everyone there. Despite the paramedics' best efforts, Elijah's injuries were too severe. He was pronounced dead at the scene, his life tragically cut short in an instant. Police officers secured the area, taped off the scene to preserve evidence and keep onlookers at a distance. Officers started canvassing the neighborhood, knocking on doors and speaking to witnesses in an attempt to piece together what had happened. Neighbors who had heard the commotion described the sudden escalation from raised voices to gunfire, and some even recounted seeing a figure fleeing the scene. Yeah, I spoke to one neighbor who said she heard what she thought was a firecracker, but then she looked up and saw a suspect with a gun and then more gunshots, and then she ran inside for cover. It was really crazy. Shanita Shamley has lived here on Bedford near the Ansel Ford Service Drive for more than a decade and says never has she experienced something like what happened last night. Guys came up, they were just talking. It looked like they were talking from my point of view. According to police, 16-year-old Elijah Reese, a sophomore at East English Prep Academy, was walking with a friend here on Bedford when the two were confronted by three men and one of those men had a gun. Then I couldn't see what happened. And then I heard the shots and then they were running. You could still hear the shooting. And when I seen they had a gun, I ran in the house. According to police, Reese was shot in the chest and died at the scene. And Reese may have been the victim of a robbery gone bad. Detroit police launched an immediate investigation, taking multiple teens into custody for questioning. Despite their efforts, no arrests were made in the days following the shooting. 
As the investigation unfolded, it became clear that Elijah had been targeted, possibly for his expensive Alexander McQueen shoes. This revelation added a chilling layer to the crime, highlighting the senseless nature of the violence. His family says he lost his life over a pair of shoes. Elijah Reese was walking home from school East English Prep when he was shot three times and killed. It was four in the afternoon last Wednesday, a shooting that should shake up every person in Metro Detroit. And at a vigil for Elijah Monday night, we learned a new clue from Elijah's mother about why anyone would target the fun-loving 16-year-old. Or did y'all want his $1,200 shoes he had on his feet? Because that's what I'm thinking, y'all wanted his, what was the name of them shoes? Alexander. Alexander McQueen's that y'all didn't even get. Senseless. Y'all killed my baby for nothing. Teens were shot and killed for their Air Jordan sneakers years back. This time, Elijah worked a job, and his mom says he bought a pair of $1,200 shoes. They are from the late designer Alexander McQueen, and they look like this. I think people should be allowed to wear whatever they want, but the challenge is that there are other people who just want to take it from them. Local for crime and safety expert Darnell Blackburn. It's just challenging because there are so many other people who just want what you have and they may be envious of you. you. You never know what the circumstances are. They may need money or they may just want to take something from you because they don't have it. English Prep Academy released this statement. We're deeply saddened by the loss of a 10th grade student who was fatally shot yesterday off school grounds. The incident occurred nearly two miles from the school in the latter part of the afternoon. Our hearts go out to the family and friends of the student during this difficult time. We have no reason to believe this act of violence was directly connected to the school or its students. As a precautionary measure, additional police presence will be at the school until the end of the school year. Today, work in school was canceled to allow students and staff to process and mourn the loss of a student. And the district is offering grief counselors for students. On the evening of May 27, 2024, the community gathered in solemn solidarity for a vigil to honor Elijah Reese near the site where he was tragically killed. Elijah's mother, Jamie, addressed the crowd with a heart full of grief, urging an end to the violence that took her son's life. Attendees shared stories of Elijah's kindness and infectious energy, vowing to keep his memory alive and to support one another through the difficult days ahead. So Ford in Bedford, Reese was killed here last Wednesday for his designer sneakers. Police are still searching for the shooter. He tried to rob my son and my son smacked his hand. So my son wouldn't let him go in his pockets and he shot my baby three times. If you have any information that can help police with their investigation, call Crime Stoppers at 1-800-SPEAK-UP. In the days and weeks following Elijah Reese's tragic death, his memory continued to touch the hearts of those who knew him. The community, still reeling from the senseless act of violence, found strength in each other, united by their shared grief and determination to honor Elijah's legacy. Today was funeral services, were funeral services for Elijah Reese, huge outpouring. Family members wanted to speak with us, however, including his mom and dad, because 12 days later, no arrests have been made. Today is a hard day for everybody. I mean, our family is trying to stick together. We're trying to stay strong for one another. The no family stick ever together. No they're gonna have service. Well, nobody, nobody wants to go through what we're going through right now. I mean, the teenagers is, they killing kids and they don't even know why they kill it. The family of Elijah Reese taking the time after funeral services were held for the teen today to speak with us. 16 year old Reese was shot and killed on Detroit's east side May 22nd as he walked home from school with a friend. A dozen days later and the young gunman has not yet been found. Any arrests? No arrests right now. I mean, um, police, we're just going to let them handle it. Mm -hmm. They, uh, you don't want to rush them. Due to the fact of it is, is they could rush and then end up letting the guys off by going too fast. Reese's mother, Jamie, his father, Lewis, say they have to be patient and wait for police to do their work. The family with a message for that gunman after this very difficult day. If you out there and you know you did it, man, turn yourself in because you can't run. City too small and everybody talks. Back here live, Kimberly. Uh, Reese's mom and dad say they are being extremely patient today on such a difficult day because they know uh, through updates that Detroit police detectives are actively working this case. They are confident an arrest will be made, just don't know when. Elijah was more than just a victim. 
He was a beloved son, a loyal friend, and a young man with dreams and aspirations. His bright smile and kind heart had left an indelible mark on everyone he met. May Elijah Reese's family and friends find solace in the cherished memories of his kindness, bright smile, and the love he shared with all who knew him. As they navigate through this unimaginable loss, may they draw strength from each other and from the community that stands with them. Rest in peace, Elijah. Your spirit will forever be a guiding light, reminding us of the beauty of life and the importance of compassion. Thanks for watching. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. See you in the next video.